everybody, it's Jenny, and today I'm sharing a card for Possum Stamps using the adorable Baked with Love 6x6 stamp set. It's made up of all these super cute baking themed images, as well as three different sentiments. And for my card today, I'm going to go ahead and start by stamping out some of those images, including the pie, the muffin, the cookie jar, and the cookies. And once I have everything added to the Misty, I'm going to go ahead and just stamp out all those images three different times. And on this last piece of cardstock, I'm going to go ahead and also add the apron image. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and start coloring everything in with some Copic markers. Off camera, I went ahead and colored in the other two copies of those images, and now I'm going to move on to the apron. I thought it'd be really cute to add a flower pattern to my apron, so I'm just going to use a piece of pattern cardstock and then go ahead and stamp out my image onto that. Then I'm going to go ahead and fuzzy cut out that image along the black line. To add some dimension to my image, I'm going to bring in some Stormy Sky Distress Oxide and go ahead and just ink up the edges. Once my inking is done, I'm going to go ahead and cut apart the top and bottom of the apron. And I'm also going to line the edges with a black marker. Then I'm going to bring back in the apron I stamped out earlier and color in the straps and the ruffles using a coordinating blue color with some Copic markers. After I have those bits colored in, I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut out the image. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my pattern paper pieces to the apron image and glue it in place. Then off camera, I went ahead and fussy cut out the rest of my images. And I'm going to go ahead and set those aside for now and start working on my sentiment. For that, I'm going to bring in a piece of blue cardstock and stamp out the sentiment, you're amazing, you deserve all the treats, with some Versamark ink, so that way I can heat emboss the sentiment with some white detail embossing powder. Once I have my sentiment all stamped out, I'm going to go ahead and add the embossing powder and then melt that in place with my heat tool. Next up, I'm going to trim down my sentiment and turn it into a banner shape. 
So I'm just going to use my grid mat here to find the center at each end and make a little mark. And then I'm just going to use my scissors to go ahead and add the fishtails. I wanted to add a little dimension to my banner as well, so I'm just going to bring in some Faded Jeans Distress Oxide and go ahead and ink each of the ends. For my background panel, I'm going to use the other side of the pattern paper I used for my apron and go ahead and trim out an A2 size panel with a stitched rectangle die. And I'm also going to bring in a heart-shaped doily from my stash and then go ahead and start laying out all of my images. After I had everything in place, I went ahead and glued it all down and then brought in an A2 size card base to attach my card panel. And I did that using some double-sided tape. And here is a closer look at my finished card. I think it turned out so super cute, and I think the doily not only gives it texture, but it goes along with the theme really well. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!